up guys this is Elon JD and today I'm reviewing my base envelope filter made by MXR. I know some of you guys out there are looking for a new Ottawa or envelope filter and this one by MXR is dope. The characteristics it has really set it apart from a lot of the ones that are on the market right now so let's check it out. Um, I'm gonna just start off by saying the way it looks it's pretty straightforward just some knobs rectangular casing that's made of aluminum and it has a foot switch on it um, and if you hit the foot switch that's how you know it's on it a little blue LED light pops up so it's pretty simple um, as far as the color is concerned it looks like it's black but when you get in certain lights and actually it's really low light in here right now but when you're in a brighter light area or brighter lit area the uh, the casing is actually like a deep purple color with sparkles so it looks really cool um, and that's that's just basically it as far as the looks. I mean, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. It's nothing nothing out of the ordinary. And if it was too complicated, I probably wouldn't even have looked at it to begin with. So anyway, um, the knobs up here. So you have two volume knobs. One controls your dry signal um, and how much you want to boost or, you know, get rid of that. And then you have a separate effects uh, signal that's controlled with this knob over here. So I really like that MXR did that because... You know with some of the other ones you don't get that option and with this one you know if you lose we tend to lose a lot of low end whenever we have those effects turned up pretty high so this gives you the opportunity to turn that up and you still retain that bottom end so then we get on the bottom over here and on this knob this decay knob it basically controls the length of the wave of the effect so the the more clockwise you turn it the shorter the wave gets basically then in this middle knob here you have the Q and the Q basically controls the intensity of the actual envelope filter so the more clockwise you go with it the more intense the sound is and vice versa then uh, this sensitivity knob over here basically controls the dynamic of your attack so if you're one of the guys who like me I tend to play a little aggressive when I'm really into it you want to turn that knob counterclockwise so that it'll compensate on the, the filter for you. And for you guys with a lighter touch, you know, you wanna still hear that effect, you turn it a little bit more to the right clockwise. So some of you out there may not wanna just sit down and, you know, fiddle with this filter all day. So MXR actually sends you three really cool presets to get started with that you can find in their manual. Um, right now I have mine set up to bottom dweller. I'm going to play a clean signal for you guys and then pop on the filter and we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm going to just add a little bit more dry in there, bring that effects down just a little bit, and I'm going to turn the sensitivity up so I can play a little bit softer, a little more Q, and we're going to bring the decay at about 12 o'clock. Alright, so you got your dry signal. sensitivity down just a little bit more bring that cue down a bit I'm gonna bring the decay way up and a little more dry a little less effect let's see if I can get a little bit more of that poppy tone out of it Alright, 
So overall, I love this pedal. I think it's a great pedal and given the right situation, it's a it's an amazing pedal. I really love the fact that it has a dry and an effects knob for you to blend together so you really don't lose any bottom end at all. I love the casing about it. It's really sturdy. I mean, I feel like I'll have this for a really long time unless something else MXR makes another one that's better than this one, which would be pretty tough. Um, anyway, I, I can't give enough praise to this MXR. I think you guys did a great job with this. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and let me know if you enjoyed this video or if you want me to make any more reviews um, on the gear that I get. So take care.